Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed that little video at the start. That's going to be the subject of today's lesson. It's an arpeggio study that I put together. Basically, I came up with a little, little pattern that, that um, is played across the upper four strings. And uh, what I wanted to do with it is take it, um, you know, follow a harmonic progression. And I just thought, why not use the um, first prelude from the first book of the Well-Tempered Clavier by J.S. Bach? Perfect opportunity to do that. So that's what I've done. So I'm following the harmonic framework of, of uh, that first prelude in C. Um, if you haven't checked out the Well-Tempered Clavier by J.S. Bach, uh, both books are just, it's a monumental work. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, you know, do check it out. As a matter of fact, I think the, the prelude from the second book is, to be honest, it's one of my favorite pieces of music. Um, just the way some of the notes collide together to create harmony is, it's astounding. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces of music, but we're going with the first prelude anyway, and that's what we're following. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's get straight to it. Uh, so, C major. Um, well, it's C major 7, essentially. Let me show you what the first pattern is. Okay, just a few words before we start diving into this study. Okay, one of the things that you're going to have to focus on here is with the index finger. There's a lot of barring going on, so you've got to make sure everything's nice and clean and that the notes don't bleed into one another because it will sound like a complete mess if you do that. So. Uh, this study really focuses on that uh, that part of technique with the index finger. Um, and as a consequence, you've got to make sure everything, especially in the inner voices here, you've got to make sure those inner voices are as clean as the upper voices, you know? Everything has got to be treated in the same way, every single note. Oops. fluff up the middle bits, you've got to make sure everything is treated um, in the same way, okay? So that's, that's one of the main things. So here we go with the first arpeggio. Again, following this chord. Now we move to this shape here. Third shape. And then back to first shape. So we've got. Okay, we're following, following that, that, those chords. Okay. Now we're going to move on to this shape. This is pretty awkward. We've got to use an extended left hand position here to get this right. This is the most awkward part where we get the bar with the third finger moving to the second finger. So you've got to get used to either rolling it or, you know, come up with a technique um, that makes it work for you. Okay, following chord. And again, the next chord, we get that nasty um, barring with the third finger. What I do here, fingering-wise, I use the third finger here and then swap for one, two, and four at the top. Okay, and then we go back to the original. Major seven shape. Now the next one. We're just alter, altering this note for this note, okay? Now we get to a point where I had to really work on this. At first, I realized if I was following, because I want to follow, uh, with this arpeggio study, I wanted to make sure that the voice leading was good, you know? So, uh, and that's something you have to be, 
uh, conscious of all the time. Good voice leading, that's the way forward. So here is the arpeggio. <laughs> Now that presented a problem here because I had to uh, decide, you know, am I going to do that or am I going to find an easier way to, to do it? And I thought, no, I'm going to stick with this. I want to play that specific shape here. Uh, and I don't want to do it any other way. I don't want to move out of position. I want to stay. Oops. I want to stay in this position. And the problem with it was this, this index finger moving up here. Uh, and I thought, no, let's stick with it. You can do it. Um, one of the reasons why I realized I can do it is if I can move my index finger quickly like this, as quick as that, and you know, with this shape, you don't need to move it as quickly. So I realized I can do it. So I stuck with it, took a little bit of patience, but um, it does work. And I learned a lot from doing that. So here's the shape. Shift. Shift. Okay, it's doable, definitely. Right, let's move on to the next shape. Okay, simple enough. Beautiful sound as well. With that ninth added. Now next. Oops, sorry. Then we move to here. Then we're back C major seven twice. Then we move up to the next inversion. Oh, bollocks. And then we move down here. Okay, so that's the whole arpeggio, um, arpeggio study. Let me play it nice and slowly for you. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, leave a like, uh, leave comments in the comment section and all that. Um, also, check out my website. There's a sale on currently, and it's a great way to support what I do. So uh, I will leave a link in the description box, as always. So check out my, my lessons. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.